compound angle formula identities. These are thinking problems and uh, they are very typical questions, right? So I'd like you to go through them very carefully, observe the video twice and then understand the strategy. At times you may have to refer to some other video to understand the concepts. So here's the thinking problem, T5. It says sin 5x minus 2 sin 3x plus sin x divided by cos 5x minus cos x equals to tan x. Now here we are going to apply two different formulas. One is called sum to product form, correct? So sum to product form, we have a video on this. So you can look into how those formulas are derived. So basically it is from here we'll collect these two terms, sine 5x and sine x, and then use sum to product form to convert sine 5x plus sine x into their product form, right? So basically the formula is like this, sine A plus sine B is equals to, let me write here, 2 of sine A plus B by 2 and cos A plus B by 2. So that is a formula for sine A plus sine B because we'll have here sine A plus sine B. In the denominator, we have cos A minus cos B. A I'm saying will be that angle 5x, right? So let me write down this formula for you also. That is like cos A minus cos B. That will be equals to minus of 2 sine A plus B by 2 times sine a minus b by 2. Okay. So, so that is the formula which we are going to use here to simplify these identities. Okay. Now, Now let's, let's start deriving it. So what we will do is, first we will rearrange these terms. So we have here sine of 5x plus sine x minus 2 sine 3x divided by cos of 5x minus cos x. So that's equal to this, right? Now here we'll apply this formula, sine a plus b will be 2 sine a plus b by 2 times cos a minus, oh sorry, a minus b by 2. So here we'll get, we'll apply this here, we'll get sine a plus b means 5x plus x, which is 5x plus x by 2 times, so 2 times, cos a minus b, that is 5x minus x by 2, right? So that is converting sum to product form using this formula, okay? Minus 2 sine 3x, 2 sine 3x. So that's our numerator. And in the denominator also we'll apply this formula and we'll get minus of 2 sine a plus b which is 5x plus x by 2 times sine of a minus b which is 5x minus x by 2. Okay. Now, so 5x plus x is 6x, 6x by 2 is 3x. So we get 2 of sine 3x and for cos 5x minus x is 4x and 4x by 2 is 2x. Cos of 2x minus 2 sine 3x divided by minus of 2 sine 3x times sine 2x. So that's what we get. And now we can take sine 3x common, right? And then solve this. So we can take sine 3x common. We can take 2 sine 3x common. In fact, 2 sine 3x 
and we are left with cos 2x minus 1 divided by so we he have here minus 2 sin 3x times sin 2x now that gives us so these will cancel 2 sin 3x they will cancel right and so let me take it on the right side so I'm taking this from here to the right side okay so I'm cancelling 2 and minus 2 we will get a negative sign there and sin 3x with sin 3x so we're left with cos 2x minus 1 in the numerator and minus of sin 2x in the denominator right so that's what we are left with so I'll write this equal to with minus sign let me write this cos 2x minus 1 in the numerator divided by sine of 2x I've already taken this minus here right sine of 2x correct so that's what we get and what we can do now is we need tan x that means we want sine on numerator and cos on denominator so let's write cos 2x in terms of 1 minus sine 2 sine square x right you remember that formula we'll use that one now so write this as 1 minus 2 sine square x and then we got minus 1 here divided by sine 2x as 2 sine x cos x okay now 1 minus 1 is 0 so we get in the numerator minus 2 sine square x and in the denominator we have 2 sine x cos x so now sine x will cancel out one of them 2 and 2 will cancel out and we are left with we have a minus here sorry I forgot to write this minus minus here this minus and this minus will make it positive so we have positive sine x over cos x which is equals to tan x and that is our right side right so we started with the left side and we got tan x as the right side okay so that is how we prove this identity now there are a lot of things here which you need to understand it's kind of a complicated one one is we use this sum to product formula right so let me write here sum to product so that formula has been derived in another video right and uh, use this for sine and cosine and then simplify it and then we used cos 2x and sin 2x formulas right so you remember those cos 2x and sin 2x formulas so the one which we use for cos 2x is the so cos 2x has a couple of formulas three of them in fact so cos 2x can be written as 2 cos square x minus 1 and can also be written as 1 minus 2 sin square x so we use this one since we wanted tan and we wanted numerator as sine right now it's very important to take care of the sign sometimes we miss it and then we may get a negative answer so well this is the way it is to be proved it's kind of a complicated problem go through it carefully and try to understand the steps taken to resolve this okay thank you